it's honestly Erica. I don't know why I'm moving my arms in this manner. So this is going to be a travel essentials video. Carry on, so stuff that I like to bring on the airplane. This is not everything that I pack and these are not things that are, these are definitely optional. But for me, they're a necessity because otherwise I'd be cold, bored, and uncomfortable. So yeah, and stay tuned to the end because I have a giveaway for you. <clears throat> giveaway oh yes these are going to be split out into four different uh, sections topics segments what is the correct categories travel vacation -y type items entertainment health and beauty and comfort so when you go on an airplane you need to carry your stuff in something these two items I take this is what I bring on the airplane every single trip. Take a small backpack. Um, this is not my favorite. It was like a last minute clutch purchase. Um, I just, I need something that's like more structured and not so floppy, but this is coming handy. This is what goes underneath the seat in front of me. And then I also have a roller bag. I love this. I love this. Um, Eric got these for us it's kind of dirty but they are like the perfect size for fitting in the overhead bins because I know a lot of y'all bring those like huge huge bag these bags are come on y'all know that's a check bag it's small but it's mighty it can pack a lot of stuff it's by Samsonite Samsonite I think it's got a lot of different like separate um, spots it's got the 360 um, wheels These are like my standard vacation slash travel items that I have to have. One is a hat. Um, if you watch my, my travel vlog videos, I tend to have on like some kind of hat, fedora, something that would protect me from the sun. Um, I, this one is kind of, it's bigger than I like. I, I tend to stick to like the fedora type hats just because they're easier to pack and wear um they're just more compact but this one is cute it's important for everybody to have protection from the sun but it's very important for me to protect my eyeballs from the sun so that's why i tend to have hats the second thing that goes along with that is that i always pack at least two pairs of sunglasses one is my prescription sunglasses and a darker pair so like when it's really really bright outside I'll wear these I usually pack at least one pair of unisex glasses because Eric will lose break I don't know eat his glasses so then he always just needs I need to have extras for him my camera so I don't always bring my DSLR camera on every single trip but if I'm going somewhere like amazing I'm definitely taking my DSLR camera so I could take those really good, high quality pictures that I can print and, you know, frame. Oh, y'all know me, I don't wear a lot of makeup. So like, beauty wise, I, we're basically talking about hair. I do tend to stick to like those smaller three ounce containers. I will pack a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, an oil or shea butter, and then I will have a small spray bottle for water. And then I'll bring a lot of hair bottles for, you know, cause I'm just gonna put my hair in a ponytail anyway. So when it comes to health stuff, I typically will bring Advil, like, an, like a pain reliever, like an Advil, a uh, ibuprofen. I have to bring Benadryl because for some reason, my body tends to just break out in hives randomly, just because. I also bring hand sanitizer for obvious reasons, airplanes and just airports and just like places where a lot of people tend to gather are full of like um, germs. So I like to bring like those Lysol, Clorox, disinfectant wipes for, this is mostly for like when we finally get to like our hotel and I like to clean like the, you know, bathroom, toilet areas. It's very dry on the plane, so I like to bring eye drops. My eyeballs get dry. I also like to bring 
a lotion. I tend to bring a lotion that can work on both my, my hands and my body as well as my face. Not only does your skin and your hands get dry, your lips get dry. I always pack at least three chapsticks for one for my pocket, one for my purse, and one just in case I lose one. Deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, floss, wet wipes or baby wipes. Keep your stinkies dry, fresh, and clean, people. Just, just, I promise you. Just so y'all know, I am a gadget freak. So when you're like, dang, why do you have 17 electronic gold? Just cuz like that's who I am. It's what I do. I don't always bring my laptop But if I do it's one because I want to edit or two because um, if I am taking a lot of pictures and video I don't like to have those just sitting on my phone or on my camera I like to transfer them to my computer and then three What's my third thing? Oh, we've used, and the third is that we've used my computer as a hotspot before. And of course, I have my uh, cell phone. When I do vlog on vacation, this, this is what I use. This is it. This thing takes excellent video. I don't have any music. I think I have Lemonade on my phone, but that's it. I don't have any music on my phone. I don't put music on my phone because I have an iPod. I've had this thing for like a solid five years. It's not new or anything. It's just, it's, I literally use it only for music. I don't have any like apps downloaded on it. I don't use it for the internet. It's just to house my music. <laughs> I have my iPad. Y'all are just gonna make fun of me. Um, so then I have my iPad. I have a few games that I play. I do have music on it as well. And then I have like Netflix and Amazon Prime and Xfinity Go. Like I have all of, I have all the apps that I use to like watch TV and movies. I think this is the last one that I bring. I bring my Kindle. It's just easier, well, for me, it's way easier to read on my Kindle because I can make the font as big as I want. And then, of course, I can carry thousands of books around on my Kindle as opposed to carrying, you know, 17 books. Obviously, I need to charge all of these items. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to need like a 25,000 plugs. The only two plugs that I typically put that I carry onto the plane are my phone plug and my iPad plug. Those are the only two. I don't, if we, if I bring my laptop, it's likely that we're checking a bag. So I put like the cord for my camera, the cord for my Kindle, the cord for my laptop goes into the check bag. Cause I don't need those on the plane. Like some planes have where you can like plug in things. I don't believe in that. <laughs> I don't believe in like sucking power from this thing that's like hovering thousands of feet in the air. Well, I'm not taking the power from that. Are you insane? I'm not doing that. I don't do it. I don't need it that bad. Plus, I never let my phone get below 50% anyway. That's a tip for you. Also bring a notebook and a pen. If you are traveling international, you need a pen. Don't forget, like, I feel like people forget to tell you. Like, all they say, don't forget your passport, but like, they should be telling you, don't forget your passport and don't forget a pen because the flight attendants are stingy. At flight attendants make the announcement like, no, we don't have any pens that y'all can borrow, borrow from your neighbor. I'll bring a notebook just in case I have like a brilliant idea. I bring two pairs of headphones. <laughs> One pair has like the noise canceling. These are good headphones for like watching movies, TVs, stuff that you really want to be able to hear and block out the sound. So then I bring another pair of headphones. These headphones are for listening to music and sleeping. They're just more comfortable to, you know, chill in. As comfortable as I possibly can be on a plane filled with like hundreds of other people in the sky. People are charging their stuff. I'm someone who is constantly and consistently and considerably cold. Always cold. 
always, 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 always cold. So one, I tend to dress in layers, like a shirt, and then like a long sleeve shirt, and then like on top of that I have a sweater, and then on top of that I have a jacket. Traveling days, I tend to walk a lot. So I need my shoes to be as comfortable as they can be for a lot of walking. So I tend to wear like cross trainers or running shoes. Um, I know a lot of people would like to wear like slide on shoes for like um, going through airport security. But just for me, I'd rather take that extra few minutes to tie my shoes and then have on shoes that are very, very comfortable. And I tend to bring like a really thick, warm pair of socks. My grandmother told me that like ages ago, like, baby, cover that neck up. So that I was like, Dang, that's like true. So I always bring a scarf, something to just keep me warm. Also bring an eye mask, especially on long flights. Sit next to someone who is always opening his window, checking for like gremlins and pioneer women on the um, wing. When we were getting ready to go on our trip to Dubai and Cape Town, Eric, was looking on Amazon and the number one, I think it was like the number one reviewed or the number one rated pillow, like travel pillow was this weird thing right here. <laughs> so he bought one for himself <laughs> and he bought one for me. It's called the J pillow. I've used the standard pillows before. I think they're just, they're just like the, they just have this shape without this extra doodle. I never just have, they don't have enough neck support for me. The thing about this with the extra little doodle here is that you can just go to sleep. Or like this. <sighs> There's so many ways you can sleep with this thing. It's amazing. And so because I had such a good experience with this pillow, I did, I contacted the company and this is the first time I've ever contacted a company to send me free stuff. So I have two pillows to send to you love. I will list all of the rules in the description box below for this giveaway. Be a subscriber. If you would like to be entered, leave a comment below telling me dream travel destination. I think I want to go to Australia. If you're interested in purchasing one of these pillows, I will, link, I will leave the website link as well as the Amazon link in the description box below. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let's go! <laughs>